Hello. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to someone who could truly be described as part of the greatest ever rock legend. He's Ringo Starr, originally one of the Fab Four, of course, no less. And uh, he's also now the voice behind the pictures in a new TV series of the Thomas the Tank Engine stories. And uh, with him also is, is um, the author and creator of those works. Um, I wonder if you could tell us, Ringo, the story behind how you actually got involved with it. Uh, how I got involved, I was uh, the lady who put it together, Britt Allcroft came uh, to the house one day and she said she had this idea for me to narrate these books. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> just trying to live myself up, folks. Um, and she, I'd never read the books as a child. I was probably one of the few children who was deprived of them. <laughs> and uh, I'm more of a Beano man. And uh, I read the books and I thought they were fabulous. You know, I thought they were really good books, and also the, the drawings in the book, the style of them I loved, and she uh, convinced me that, you know, they were going to be animated in that style. You know, they weren't going to make them cheap looking, so I thought it'd be a nice thing for me to do, really. Mm -hmm. And you are know? you pleased with the end product? I'm real pleased with the end product. Wilbur told you, what do you, uh, <laughs> what do you make of him? Do you think he's done a good job? Well, I think Gringo's done an excellent job. Well, uh, your words and my mouth will be going anyway. It's a good departure for you, you know, it makes a nice change, doesn't it, to do something well, like I've this? Well, I've always sort of felt I've got on with kids. Mm -hmm. you know, I like kids, I used to be one. You know, the <laughs> when you were younger, was that? Oh, yeah, a little younger than this. <laughs> uh, we've got a clip of it, actually. Oh, I'd up. love to see it. Have you not actually seen it yet? I haven't seen it finished with the full mix, though I, we keep making sort of dates for me to go Thanks down and see it. Thomas's and driver and fireman came early and worked hard to mend the snowplow, but they couldn't make it fit. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it. He puffed to Annie and Clarabelle. But they were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right, they whispered to each other. The driver was worried too. It's not bad here, he said to the fireman, but it's sure to be deep in the valley. Silly soft stuff. Oh, oh. Wonderful. Yeah. Not bad at all. It looks terrific. I wish I was in it more than just the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it right that the producer actually said that he, he did a better version than John Gilgood, Reverend? Well, I wouldn't presume to criticise John Gilgood. It's not a criticism. <laughs> it's just praise of Ringo, isn't it? <laughs> right. Not a well, bad compliment. she'd say anything to get me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you find it actually difficult, Ringo, to find something sort of new, new boundaries to uh, cross over? Because you've done so much, achieved so much. Yes, I know. It's difficult. <laughs> Getting out of bed's a problem these days. <laughs> uh, not really. You've been doing all this acting recently. We've all seen this all acting, screens. yes. Four minutes. <laughs> was that Princess, Princess Daisy? Daisy? Yeah. yeah, well, we did that uh, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it was good fun, you know, the wife and I. Yeah, playing. presumably she encourages you in all this stuff. Oh, she? she's always encouraging me in everything. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, do you, I mean, do you feel, I mean, I would genuinely think. Yes, you think? I think that you've got nothing else to sort of achieve. You've done oh, that's so much. ridiculous. There's lots to achieve. Like what? Well, like playing for England. <laughs> what, football? <laughs> Because you have some footballers on, I heard. Yes, but um, yeah, there's you know there's there's records to make. There's still acting I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. But I mean, presumably you, you don't. I'm, uh, I'm drying up here. You don't have to worry about paying the mortgage. So not uh, anymore, dear. Not anymore. Yeah, so yeah. it must be difficult to motivate yourself to get excited about things, though, if you know that really. you don't have to. I was excited about this. I mean, once yeah. you've said yes to anything, you. You know, the motivator starts when you're interested, and then when you actually say yes, I mean, that's the most terrifying part. Once you sign your name, you say, oh, God, did I do the right thing? Mm -hmm. But then when you have, you know, you realize you've got to do it, so you do it with all the energy you can find. You don't lack self-confidence when you're doing something new. I don't lack self-confidence ever. Period. <laughs> Ringo, thanks a lot. We'll chat again in a moment. It's letters time now. And Jenny Barnett, good morning to you, my good, dear. Good morning. I mean, you could come and do the postbag slot. That's a great... The postbag slot? Yeah, that's a great thing to look forward to. Oh, you know, yes, now, good the morning. The thrill of <laughs> coming here every day is... Uh, it's, I know, it's ...wearing too much off of... rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> good morning and welcome to Tuesday Postbag. And there I was waiting for Thomas the, the engine and also sacks of mail to arrive concerning all rail ways and all I got was one measly letter. Gordon, um, you can probably hear singing in the background. It's uh, quite famous singing actually. It's oh, Ringo yes, Starr. It quite famous. You uh, like tuning up at this time in the oh, morning, Ringo. Me, 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 me. <laughs> 
One of our guests on the show today is, is, the Reverend, uh, Audrey. is Reverend Audrey <laughs> and a duck that can't swim. Apparently. Oh dear. Which uh, might oh. be of interest to you because you're um, a bit into animals, aren't you? Well, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, yes, we have three dogs and uh, nine cats. Yes. Forty or fifty fish, two terrapins. Forty or fifty fish. And five children. And five children. So we're into everything. Yeah, which are the most difficult to look after? The fish. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course we have the Reverend Audrey with us as well, um, who's the creator of this new Thomas the Tank Engine series, which, when does it actually go out, Ringo? It goes out at 12 this afternoon, I hope all your mums will get your kids around the telly and watch it. And you're doing, you're doing and the narration four, for it? Actually. I do the narration and the Reverend wrote it. Wonderful. And Clearwater made it all visible. Yes. Did it take you ages to actually record it? Or was it one of those things you just no, dashed in? No, it took and... uh, about eight days. We, we used to do about four or five a day, and then we had to redo four of them because uh, the tone of your voice in the morning to, you know, when you've got rolling <laughs> changes. I know, so just you what you need. Hello, oh, kiddies, it's Uncle Richie. <laughs> And uh, so we did four again. So it took about eight days. Yeah, and we saw a clip of it earlier, and the, the animations look superb. It's very, fabulous. very close to the Clive Spong illustrations on well, the original books, aren't yes, they? Yes, which, which the Rev was. Well, Clive Spong didn't do the. Well, the, the original, original. Yes. Bit. No. We ran through four artists. Yes. Oh, did you? Well, they're absolutely yes. smashing anyway. Well, with Clive Spong, I've got a great admiration for yes. his pictures. Well, we'll be chatting to both of you later, but now.